Hello, my name is Kevin Johnson, Assistant Chief of the Forestry Division's Brush Clearance Section. As a resident living in a fire hazard area, the most important thing you can do is properly reduce and maintain brush surrounding your home. Thick vegetation around your home can make it difficult and sometimes impossible for firefighters to protect your home from fire. In the event of a brush fire, numerous firefighters, aircraft, and specialized equipment will respond. Reducing the brush around your home increases their chance of saving your property. Fire season is typically from early May to the first significant rainfall. In Southern California, brush clearance is a year-round responsibility. It is very important that homeowners pay close attention to the fire conditions in their neighborhood. Every year, the Los Angeles County Fire Department responds to brush fires in the wildland urban interface. In many instances, homes are damaged or destroyed for no other reason than a lack of proper brush clearance and defensible space. Defensible space is the area surrounding a structure free of flammable plants and objects that create a zone in which firefighters can operate safely in order to protect your home during a wildfire. In the event of a fire, it is critical for you and your family to immediately comply with instructions to evacuate and keep roads clear for fire department access. We urge you to take this information seriously and do all you can to assist your local firefighters in their mission of keeping everyone safe. With this presentation, the Los Angeles County Fire Department hopes to provide information that will help protect you and your family. Hi, I'm Forestry Assistant Richard Anderson. As part of the County of Los Angeles Fire Department's fire prevention program, the local fire stations perform their annual brush clearance inspections prior to the start of fire season. These inspections are to ensure the property owners have good defensible space and are in compliance with the fire code. If the property owner is found to be non-compliant, the station personnel will write an official inspection report, a Form 410B, pointing out the violations and what to do to become fire safe and in compliance with the fire code. Here's an example of an official inspection report. I will explain and help you gain an understanding of the clearance requirements. When you receive a 410B, there will be a date of the inspection. In the red box area, there will be a second date 30 days later. This is the date when violations must be corrected. You will have 30 days to complete your work noted on the 410B. If you have item 1A marked, you are to clear and remove all flammable vegetation or combustible growth around any structure. This includes ornamental plants and trees known to be flammable, including but not limited to acacia, cedar, cypress, eucalyptus, juniper, pine, and pampas grass. There are exceptions. Ornamental plants and trees that are individually planted or cultivated ground cover such as green grass, succulents, or similar plants spaced and maintained in such a manner that they do not form a means of transmitting fire from vegetation to the structure. There are two distance requirements to clear. 30 feet is the minimum standard or 50 feet for high hazard areas. If item 1B is marked, you are to clear, cut back, thin out, and remove flammable vegetation or combustible growth around any structure. Item 1B also has two distance requirements, 100 feet minimum clearance distance and 200 feet around any structure in extra high hazard areas so as to create a fire break. This shall not apply to single specimens of either native or ornamental trees, shrubs, or ground covers, provided they are cut back, thinned out, trimmed up, and spaced so as to provide an adequate fire break and do not form a fuel ladder to any structure. Remove lower branches from shrubs one-third their height. Prune out any and all dead vegetation. Space out shrubs so they don't form a continuous fuel ladder with each other. Remove or chip on site all cut vegetation. All trees shall be maintained free of dead wood and litter. Trees shall be trimmed up a minimum of six feet or one-third their height up to 40 feet, depending on surface fuels. The fire code official may require removal and clearance of all flammable or other combustible growth for a minimum of 10 feet on each side of every roadway, whether public or private. Box 2 states, trees overhanging fire access roads shall be maintained to provide vertical clearance. 
This clearance is necessary for fire apparatus to gain access to your structure. Box 3 states, remove that portion of any tree that extends within 10 feet of the outlet of any chimney. With proper clearance, there is less of a chance of sparks from your chimney to reach and ignite your trees. Box 4 states, maintain any tree adjacent to or overhanging any building free of deadwood. With the removal of deadwood, you are reducing the fuel load as well as the fire hazard to the structure. Box 5 states, maintain the roof of any structure free of leaves, needles, or other dead vegetative growth. Removing this material will minimize the potential of flying embers igniting your roof. Box 6 states, place or store firewood, manure, compost, or other combustible materials a minimum of 30 feet from any building or structure. By moving this material 30 feet from the structure, you are reducing the fuel ladders and fuel load, thus creating good defensible space. Box 7 states, combustible vegetation shall be removed from the area occupied by a tent, canopy, or membrane structure and from areas within a minimum of 50 feet of each structure. By removing the vegetation away from the tent or membrane, you can greatly reduce the fire hazard and have good defensible space. In box eight, we are asking you to have weeds, grass, trash, and other combustible materials be kept a minimum of 10 feet from LP gas tanks or containers. No smoking signs complying with section 310 shall be posted when required by the fire code official. With the removal of combustible materials next to the LP tank, you take away the fuel source and flame impingement on the tank, reducing the likelihood of an explosion. The clearance instruction section is where the inspector writes in detail all the checked items that need to be corrected and explain what work needs to be completed. Box 10 is the illegal dumping category. No person shall place, deposit, or dump any garbage cans, bottles, papers, ashes, refuse trash, rubbish, or combustible waste material in or upon any hazardous fire area. All hazardous and flammable material should be taken to a licensed disposal site for proper disposal. Should the violations of the official inspection report, the Form 410B, not be corrected on or before the given 30 days, Possible administrative fines and non-compliance fees may be imposed. In addition, the county may clear the property at the owner's expense. Through proper brush clearance and good defensible space, your property will have a better chance to survive in a wildland fire.